Hi guys, today is an amazing and wonderful day because we are doing a new Pixel Whip tutorial. I'm going to be teaching this tutorial with my Pixel Whip sleeve, but you do not need a sleeve to learn this. You can learn with or without a sleeve on your Light Whip. Before I start teaching you the steps, I'm going to show you what the combo is going to look like. That is the tutorial that I'm going to be teaching you guys today. Please don't get overwhelmed. I promise it's easier than it looks if you have no idea what I just did. So let's start with the first move. So we're just going to start with a side stall to the left. Our body is going to be kind of to the side because we are going to be doing this move. So it's really easy. When you're doing your side stall, your left leg will be pointed out, your knee will be out, and then your right leg will be straight. So it just looks like this. Once you're comfortable with that, you're going to do a round and a down stall. Under, over. Under, down stall, over side stall. Once you get comfortable with the side stall and the down stall, then you're just going to do exactly what we did before with our legs. We're just switching them from pointing one knee out to the other knee, to the other knee, to the other knee. When it's the side stall, you're putting your back knee out. When it's the down stall, you're putting your front leg out. Left, right leg. Left leg, right leg. Then you're just going to take it frontwards and backwards. You can kind of do this any way that you like. I don't think that it really matters for the next move that we're doing. So even if you want to go backwards and then frontwards, you could do it that way. So once you're comfortable with that, we are going to go into a wraparound lift. This one is pretty fun. It looks like you're like lifting your leg up, but really you're just trying to get your whip up so we can go into a leg wrap. So if you have ever done silks, this is going to be really, really easy for you. This is how I thought of the move. When you do silks and the silk is like this, before you start climbing up the silk, you do a move like this where you wrap around your leg and then you go like this and then you usually wrap it around again to tie it all off but that is how I thought of the move but I'll explain it right now if you have no idea what I'm talking about. From the stalls, side stall, down stall, side stall, down stall, you're going to stop at the down stall and then you're going to take your right leg that should be pointed out or just if you're doing something else, just your right leg. You're gonna take your right leg and then you're gonna go to the right of your whip. So you're going to take your right leg, go around to the right of your whip. You're gonna go around the front. Then you're going to take your foot all the way around and then when you're done it should look like this your handle should be on the left of your foot and make sure to squeeze your foot as much as you can because if you don't it's just going to fall and this move won't work all you're doing is just laying your foot down so so your foot is completely flat on the ground. And from there, my foot is still flat on the ground, but I don't know if you can hear me from back there. So from here, you wanna do this move. So it's really easy. You should be holding the whip like this, but you want the hand that's on the bottom to be at the top. 
So it's really easy. You're just going to release this hand, let this hand slide up, grab it again, go all the way until your arm can't do it anymore, and then you are frontward with your foot out on the ground, and then you are to the side, and then you are kind of facing the side, but your hips are forward. So from here, we're just gonna make a big circle going to the right around your neck. So you're gonna go around, around your neck. So let's go all the way from the down stall. You should be right here. You're going to take the right of the whip, go around towards the front, grab the handle, it should be hanging like this. Just put your foot on the ground and make sure you keep your foot flexed because if you don't, it'll fall off and you don't want that to happen. From here, you want this hand, your right hand on the top of the whip. So you're just going to open this hand, let it slide through, close your hand again, hold it to the side, but your hips forward. You're gonna do a huge circle and when you come to right here, you're just gonna put it around your neck whole circle around your neck. Now from here, you're gonna be holding the whip in kind of this weird position. So you need to switch your hands. And this is why I like to do this combo tutorial with a pixel whip sleeve, because I feel like it gives me more length to work with. So it's a lot easier than trying to like grab onto the tiny tail of just the whip. So from here, your right hand is going to be holding the tail of the whip and your left hand is going to be in this like weird area of the whip. So you want to hold the tail of your whip with your left hand, so just switch. You're just going to do a kind of levitation and pull your leg up. Your foot is flexed and you're just going to lift your leg up. Like you're kind of lifting your leg up with your hand and you don't have to do this part I just think it's fun when you're lifting up your leg you're also going to be pulling down this tail so pulling down lifting up your leg and this is where it gets just a tiny bit tricky but don't worry you got this I believe in you it's going to be easier than you think so Adding with all of that, when you are bringing up your leg and pulling the tail down, as you're doing that, you are also going to be slowly releasing your leg so the whip does fall because then we're going to go into a leg wrap. And then we're almost done. So you guys are doing awesome. Dance break. Dance break. Dance break. Dance break. Dance it, dance it, dance it. So we're gonna start from the down stall just so you guys can practice wrapping your foot around the whip. So from here, you're gonna go to the right of the whip, around the front, grab it with your leg. Your feet should be flexed, so it's holding the handle right on there. Then while you're putting your foot down, you're going to switch your arms so the right is at the top your hips are forward and your body is to the side from here you're going to do a huge circle go around your neck and switch to your left arm i mean your left hand your left arm too but your left hand from here you're going to levitate your leg while pulling the tail down and slowly releasing your foot. So by the time that your leg gets to up here, that's when it'll actually release. Once you're done with the levitation and your leg is up to the side and your whip has fallen, you're going to grab it with your right hand just like this. So the back of your hand should be on your leg and from here you're just going to do a leg wrap. You're just going to swing to the left, around, and then do a leg wrap. Around, regular leg wrap. 
So from here, we need to bring it back to the front. So it's really easy. You're just going to do a cross. So if you know what a cross is, it's just going to each side of your body. So all you're doing is you're in the back like this and then do a cross to the front. You should be going to the right when you were at this step. From here, we're just going to do some beautiful flowers. If you want, you can do a couple crosses before you start the flowers. It's totally up to you. So once you're at your front, you're going to the right, 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 right. And then if you have ever done flowers before, they're really easy. It's just hard to figure out how to control it and make it look really pretty. So a flower is just going like this with your hand. That's all you're doing and what you're doing is you're going to each side of the square. So think that you're in a box and then you're just going to each little side of the square. And that's basically what you're doing but with a whip you have to whip it around. So you have to learn how to whip it around while still maintaining the flower. If you have a hoop at home, I'll make this really quick. I would recommend learning how to do a flower on a, on a hoop because it does help you figure out how to do it on a whip. That is it, that is the whole tutorial. I'm sorry if it was more intermediate than beginner. Um, I'm having a hard time figuring out like what is considered beginner, what is considered intermediate. So please let me know in the comments below if this was hard or easy to learn. Do you want something harder? Do you want something easier than this? Let's do the tutorial all over again and then we will flow. And that'll be the end of this combo tutorial. So we're gonna start with the side stall and the down stall. Your left knee is out, doing the side stall. Your right, your right, <laughs> I don't know why that's so hard to say. Your right knee is out when you're doing the down stall. When you're switching between the side stall and the down stall, you're just going backwards, frontwards. Backwards, frontwards. Backwards, frontwards. Backwards, frontwards. Once you have that, you're gonna stop at the down stall. You're gonna take your right leg, put it around the whip, put your leg under the handle, flex your foot, put your foot down. While you're putting your foot down, you're gonna switch your arms so your right hand is at the top and your left hand is down here. You're gonna do a full circle and once you get to the top, you're gonna put the whip around your neck and then switch from your right hand to your left hand. You're gonna levitate your leg while pulling this down and slowly unflexing your foot. So I'll go back a little bit so you guys can see. From here, levitate, pull it down, slowly release your foot. I have to move because I don't have a lot of space, but from here, you're just going to swing it to the right, left, and then the right. Do a leg wrap, then you'll be to the back. From here, you're just gonna do a cross. You can do a couple crosses if you want. Then once you are towards the front, pull a little slack if you have a lot, like you have this much, it's, it's gonna be really hard to do the flowers. So take advantage of this tail that you're holding and pull a little bit so you have less of the whip that you're spinning around. From here, you're gonna go to each side of your box and do a flower. And that is it. We're gonna do it a little faster now. I'm gonna count five, six, seven, eight, and then we are going to do it together really slow. 
okay? And I'm starting like this, just to the side. Five, six, seven, eight, side stall, down stall, side stall, down stall, we'll do it one more time. Side stall, down stall, stop, put your foot around to the front, flex your foot, switch your hands. We're gonna go into the circle. Once you're around, put it around your neck, pull down the tail, levitate, and unflex that foot. You're gonna go around and do a leg wrap, do a couple crosses. Okay, this next one, go into a flower. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. It was a lot of fun to make, and I hope you guys have a lot of fun implementing that into your flow.